They took the watch? Their wear? No, you know I don't do that anymore. Who else would I even send? No, wait, don't hang up. Wait. Uh, hi, what were you talking about just now? Did someone steal a watch or something? What? No, I, I was just... I can go back later if now's... Ugh, fine. Since you insist on knowing, I'll tell you. The truth is, I'm not just an ordinary principal. I am, in fact, a timekeeper. I'm part of an organization tasked with maintaining and protecting the timeline from disruption. However, one of our very own students has taken one of my time travel devices and gone to an unauthorized location. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Wait, are you serious? I would never joke about such an important issue. Um, right. Listen, I'm going to go to the nurse. You're going to be okay. Don't go anywhere. Got it? No, there's no time for that. And I'm not crazy either. You must take me seriously. Now, I need somebody to retrieve this student for me, but who would be brave enough to undertake such a perilous journey? You said you were a part of an organization, right? Maybe one of them or you? Wait, why are you playing along? You need to go to the hospital or something. Time travel comes with a cost. Each time I travel, I must sacrifice something important to me. In my life, I have only time traveled three times, but I have lost some of the most important things I hold dearly. My ability to smile, remember names, my luscious hair. But enough about that. I need you to serve in my place as timekeeper and bring them back. Why me? Why do I even have to bring them back? Why can't they just stay there? There is little time. You are my only option. I need someone pure of sacrifice, someone determined, someone intelligent, an ACP student. First of all, no. Second, I'll give you two free just passes. Deal. What do I got to do? The Council of Time has told me that an unaccounted for ACP student has gone back in time and has not returned. A freshman, to be more specific. They have no idea the complexities of time travel and could become trapped in the past forever. You must return them to the present and prevent them from being stranded in time. So how exactly am I going back? DeLorean, Bone Moon, a hot tub? This is my spare chronometer. The other was likely stolen by the missing student. Strap it on your wrist and enter the date you want to go. Go back to the year 1965. That's where you'll find the freshman. Look for a chronometer identical to this one and then bring them back. You cannot fail. What about my mask? Wear it. Historically significant items from the present and future are invisible to those who reside in the past. Be safe and good luck. Yeah, of course. Hey, you look like you know a lot of people. Maybe you can help me find someone? Someone that doesn't look like they fit in here? <laughs> Everybody fits here. I mean, we're all groovy, but I think I can help you find somebody. Yeah, I'm looking for a guy about yay high who might be wearing something like this. All oh, groovy, yeah, I did think I saw somebody like that uh, over there. Hey you, you being here is stressing out Mr. B, so you're gonna have to come with me. Who are you exactly? I'm a student like you. Mr. Biggest sent me. Anyway, we really need to go. We aren't meant to be here. No way I'm going back. I don't belong in the present anymore. I belong in the past. There's too much wrong there, and I can't do anything about it. That doesn't sound like the attitude of an ACP student. It may not seem like you are now, but you can make a difference in the world. You wouldn't understand anyway. Of course I do. Everybody felt that way at some point. Not everybody decides to escape the present entirely, though. You know what? You're right. I'm not meant to be here. 
You can take me back now. Wait, really? Yes, well, I suppose I belong in the present. Good. Setting time cores for the year 2020. Wait, why are you here? It's 1975? We were supposed to transport to 2020. You did this, didn't you? My chronometer must have interfered with yours. <sighs> it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we're still not back. Well, anyway, you were right. I was wasting my time back in the 60s. The 70s are so much better. Sorry, but I'm not going back. At least you gotta experience a normal freshman year. I don't want to deal with the pandemic and teenage awkwardness at the same time. Thanks for the help, but there's nothing for me there. Absolutely not. You've got an entire life in the present. Things might seem bad at this point in 2020, but with more innovative and creative minds than ever before, the best is yet to come. What did you say? The best is yet to come. Trust me. I'll just keep running. You'll lose me eventually. Wait. I'll, I'll make a deal with you. Come with me and let me show you what the 70s were really like. If I can't convince you to come back to the present, you can stay. Fine, lead the way. Uh, nothing to see here. Wait, you look familiar. The hair. <gasps> Mr. Biggis? I must leave you now, but just remember to strive for the impossible and be extraordinary. That's a really good idea. I'm gonna go write that down. Oh, thank goodness. You've made it back. Congratulations on bringing back Gerald. You did exceptionally well for a first-timer. You probably could have taken off about five minutes, though. Not fast enough to earn those free dress passes. Are you kidding me? Couldn't someone more experienced with time travel have gone back? Well, I was thinking. You've lived through the anxiety of going to school as a freshman. You even had a really rough year. Then you decided you wouldn't give up. You chose to keep coming back. This is true for so many on our campus. We share a spirit of unbreakable determination. I've never met teenagers so dedicated to making a better future as the students from our school. I could have sent back an adult that was more experienced, but the future doesn't belong to them. It belongs to the two of you. I could tell this young man that the future would get better, but I would only be making empty promises. The only one with the credibility and opportunity to make this world better is you. In time travel, a sacrifice is required, but the present also requires a sacrifice from each of us. In order to make a better future, you must give your word, your time, your energy. Each time you time traveled, you made the promise, the best is yet to come. That's why you were able to travel through the past to bring back Gerald. Your sacrifice starts now with hard work and resilient efforts to transform your society. But don't let that dishearten you. In fact, it's the most hopeful thing I've heard in a long time.